Hello all, today we're going to unbag an expansion to Stuka Leader, the World War II European Theater solitaire game from DVG and uh, designed by Chuck Siegert or created by Chuck Siegert. Uh, this uh, expansion one is uh, exp his Eastern Front one. It uh, promises to provide new campaigns, new targets, new aircrafts, new bandits, new events. Uh, and if you see Eastern Front one, number one, that probably means there's an Eastern Front number two. Spoiler alert, uh, you'll be seeing that a little bit later. Uh, what you have in Stuka Leader, if you have not, um, if you're not familiar with Stuka Leader, check out uh, my video uh, in the description where I uh, unbox uh, all the goodies uh, that I received from DVG and want to thank them for that. But also uh, do an unboxing and overview of Stuka Leader, the core game, so you get an understanding of what that game is about. This is going to add just what it says there, um, new campaign. So there's going to be some new campaign sheets in here that are going to be focusing on the Eastern Front. There's going to be new targets. Well, targets are key to the game. That is um, what you're focusing on. That's, that's what your missions are based on. Uh, new aircraft, both um, ones you can fly, but your bandits are the ones that you're encountering. And new events. Events kind of affect the entire mission, uh, either pre-flight over the target or, uh, or the approach over the target or on the way back. So with all that, let's get inside these bags and see what we have here. Uh, this is common for DVG to um, provide expansions in bags. You know, they do a box game with a lot of content. In fact, there's enough content in there to... Uh, to play the game. You don't really need the expansion. However, if you want more content, DVG will oblige and they will uh, <laughs> provide more content. And they do it in these bags, uh, typically, uh, when they bring it out. Uh, their Warfighter series, it usually comes in little card boxes. Uh, but here we get uh, bags. So you're going to get a deck of cards. This is going to have your targets, uh, and your uh, events, and your new aircraft. And the aircraft is also your pilot. So you have the name of a pilot there. Then you have the specs of the aircraft. And uh, there'll be three for each one, meaning that you can advance up. You'll start off as a rookie, and you'll work your way up to, I think it's legendary, is the uh, highest level, but there's, you'll, you'll get three cards so you can advance those different levels. And as you advance, your pilot gets better and you get your uh, some of your characteristics or skills get better as well. You're also gonna get counter sheet here. We get one counter sheet, uh, good thickness here. This is typical DVG uh, counters. They're very thick. They're, uh, they, they really don't have nibs, so you really don't need to clip these. They come out you know somewhat pre-rounded. So uh, they're very uh, nice, thick, clean, clear graphics, uh, double-sided there as well. So you've got some of these like no sight, and some of these are like for your targets, and then uh, some of the encounters you might have there. And then these are the, a lot of these are the bandits and your, um, your aircraft that you get to play. So there's going to be some new aircraft that come in here as well. You'll also get these campaign sheets. So it looks like we have three new campaigns. They're single-sided because you'll keep that on the off to the side so you can keep track of your recon in, intel. So there's tracks here that you keep track of, so you'll have that. You'll also choose the type of mission you want at the beginning, whether you want to do a short campaign, medium campaign, or long campaign. That will dictate some extra uh, points that you can spend to upgrade your pilots or, or armaments or what have you, and then you'll have your evaluation, uh, how you did at the end of that campaign, how many victory points you get dep determines what kind of rating you get, whether from dismal to great. You'll also have the special events uh, or special rules that will affect this campaign. There's adjustments and notes. Um, 
You've got some available aircraft that come into play here for the campaign and then some special weapons. And then here is kind of your target chart. So this is where this the, you'll, you'll pull uh, target cards. Uh, each of the target cards has a number. You'll pull the target card with that uh, uh, specific number, put that in a deck, shuffle it, and then that will be the, the deck you pull from to determine which target you're going through. And I think the original core game went up to like 42 maybe. So it looks like we've got up to 48 now. So there are some new targets for the Eastern Front here. So you have uh, Barbarossa, 41, Stalingrad, 42, and uh, Battle of the Dnieper, 43. So you've got three different campaigns here. Uh, and so basically you are you know conducting the air campaign uh, over um, for those three specific campaigns. This is not so much a tactical air game as it is a, a air management game. You're managing all aspects of the air campaign, you know, uh, marshalling your pilots and, uh, you know, trying to pick the right pilot and advance and promote the right pilot, uh, but also, you know, having to sit them down for a while for stress and, um, you know, and then you arm before each, you know, mission. Once you determine a target, you need to determine your armaments uh, and the like. So there's quite a bit of management going on in this game. And again, it's solitaire, so you're doing all the, the management. So here's all the new planes. You get quite a few new planes and pilots in here. And as you see here, you start off uh, uh, as a rookie, then go to green, then go to average, then go to skilled, then veteran, then legendary. So you're going to have three of these for each pilot slash uh, plane. They're kind of tied together. And uh, and as I said, they advance and get different, you know, they have different effects on their stress level and their different effects on their plane over time as well. So there you have it. So quite a bit of content on the new planes and pilots. You get some new event cards here. And as I said, the event cards affect, you know, uh, before target, over target, and after target type uh, effects there. So you get th three new event cards, and you get some new target cards here. So we go 40, so maybe we went up to 43. So we got 44, 45, 46, and 48. So you've got a supply deep, uh, supply drop, oil refinery, and invasion support. So you've got some different targets here and the targets are going to tell you you know what you get you, you get you're going to pull a sight counter and two bogey counters for over the target and for the approach you're going to get one sight counter uh it tells you the uh vp you get for this and where recon starts and then any kind of special rules on there and that will be the target that you put in the middle and, and then you'll plan your you'll load up your airplane you'll plan the approach and then you'll conduct the mission. So there you have it. So this is what you get in um, Expansion 1, which is Eastern Front 1, for Stuka Leader. Get everything out there. That's what you get in the bag. So love to know your thoughts on this game, on Stuka Leader. On any of the leader series, the, the what I call the flight leaders have common, uh, common procedures and rules and play. Uh, the, the ones that just deal dealing with flight, you know, Hornet, uh, Corsair, Zero, um, Phantom. Those leader series are all I think find very similar. They've added some new stuff with uh, Zero and Stuka now with dog fight fighting. So. Love to know your thoughts on that as well, or on this expansion, if you've already broken this out and, and went into the Eastern Front. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for stopping by. The best way I know you stop by is drop me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching.